So fall here, ain't you, son? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you must go in on a Monday, you look at the scripts for the next month or six months, and think, oh my God, what they've done to me again. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's been good though. It's been uh, lots of car stunts, things like that. Got to um, work with a lot of rats. Had to have rats in a tunnel at one point. Though. Not that I'm doing like I'm a celebrity or anything like that. You sure? Yeah, definitely sure. Definitely sure. Well, hang on a minute. So. Uh, as you noticed, David did my haircut for me earlier on. There we go. Look, I, I, now, let's put it this way. Do you know anything about uh, hairdressing at all? No, do I act? <laughs> it, it, he talks good to the women though, doesn't he? Huh? He does he gives all the chat. I actually cut uh, Malcolm Hebden's hair, for real, who plays Norris. We were in the scene, and I meant to be giving him a haircut. And usually we just fudge it and like, pretend. And he went, actually, can you just cut my hair? And I went, what do you mean? He went, well, just go around the bits and the sides, everything like that. And I went, you want me to cut your hair? And he went, yeah, I usually do it. So he usually cuts his own hair. Is he tight or so what? He must be, he must be. <laughs> but I mean, how long have you been in Corrie now? How long have you been in there? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be 17 years in April. 17, give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause, 17 years. And um, you have some really hard storylines, and, and one or two that uh, sort of touch a nerve one or two people as well. It's, I um, mean, it must be. How do you go in some days and think, oh, God, I've got to do this again? Uh, well, you, you just have to as an actor, really, I suppose. Um, when when Carly died in Corrie earlier this year, I mean, for three... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute, she ain't really dead. <laughs> yeah, for like four, three weeks, um, you just cry constantly, you have to. So like for 12 hours a day, me and her were on the street doing the scenes and it took three weeks to film and you feel depressed when you go home. As soon as I say cut, you, it's weird because you, you feel a loss of someone dying but no one's died. So it's weird. You know, it's like my head was all over the place for a few weeks after that. I was just thinking actually, if you're like depressed and crying all the time, you must be a Man United fan. I'm a United fan but I'm a Leeds fan. Here we go, here we go as well. We're just waiting for the countdown to uh, the lights. We are waiting for the signal from the lady with the phone. Uh, when we get the signal, we'll go down from 10 seconds down to. Will you help us to the countdown? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the whole point why I'm here. And of course, well, I thought I thought you were swanning around in Chicago's up the road, you know, having a bit of like a bit of champagne or a cocktail or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Come to do the lights. So you're born in Red Leeds. I am, yeah, yeah, born in Leeds, yeah. It's a good city, Leeds, I like Leeds, it's a good city. But I like Manchester as well, my lad's actually uni in Manchester, I love Manchester. I have to say, you must go into the German market in Manchester, it's absolutely brilliant, it's a good experience. I'm going there tonight, funnily enough, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to come next Tuesday, I'll see you there, we've got a few beers, I can, oh, I'm walking around with David Platt, I have to tell you, though, one or two of the older folks here, when I said David Platt was here, they thought it was an England a footballer. Yeah, yeah, I actually, I met him once, actually, he was in, we were in a bar, and some, there were a photographer in the bar and he went, he went Jack, Jack, um, it's just a quick thing. David Platt is over at the bar. I just think it would be a good thought opportunity for you and him to have a picture together, blah, blah, blah. And I went, yeah, yeah, all right then, yeah, yeah. So he goes up and he goes, David, David, that's photographer. And as he taps him on the shoulder, he goes, what, what? Turns around and looks at me and he went, oh, fuck. <laughs> and he got you. Yeah, uh, uh, he, he gets it all the time wherever he goes. And I don't really get it that often. Like, oh, great goal against Belgium. I get that a few times. But he says he gets it everywhere he goes. Yeah, it's funny. So you're a big Leeds United fan. They're not doing too bad actually at the moment on Gary Monk, are they? They're doing it, yeah. They're on TV doing well tonight. Aston Villa. Any Aston Villa fans? No, no. I tell you what, all the Villa fans have started coming out the woodwork now. Last year you couldn't find any at all, you know what they're like. But it's been tough times for Leeds United. I, I'm like, I, I'm, you know, I used to be uh, a sort of an Alan Clark, Clark fan from, uh, from Wolverhampton, all the Clark family from there. He's followed Alan Clark as a kid and uh, Leeds are a great club. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a shame everything that's happened to him, but it's just money, in it? I'd say hopefully we're Gary Monk and uh, we're on the way up. Oh, here we go then, are we ready? Are we ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Press that button. There they go. The lights are on in Starbridge. What can I say? Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.